Hey, this is the Electronics Lab, and in this video, I am going to use Milman's theorem to reduce this circuit to this circuit. And if you remember Milman's theorem, it says that if you have a set of parallel voltage sources like we have here, it can be easily reduced to a single equivalent voltage source with its associated equivalent resistance. And you can check out the video here, and that'll give you the background derivation for Milman's theorem, but I'm just going to go through this, and I'm just going to use it in this example. So we want to figure out the equivalent voltage and the equivalent resistance. Well, the equivalent resistance is an easy one to figure out. It's simply equal to the parallel combination of all of these resistors. So it'll be 1 ohm in parallel with 0.8 ohms, in parallel with 0.9 ohms, in parallel with 1.1 ohms. And that works out to 0 0.23 ohms. So the equivalent resistance in this circuit is 0.23 ohms. And the equivalent voltage is equal to the equivalent current that would be created by the sum of, of each one of these if they were converted to uh, uh, their, their equivalent current source. So that equivalent current gets multiplied by the equivalent resistance that we just calculated above. And this equivalent current would be 14 volts over 1 amp plus 13 volts divided by 0.8 amps plus 13.2 volts divided by, I think I was saying amps, I meant ohms, plus 13.5 volts divided by 1.1 1 .1 ohms. So that would give me the equivalent current and then multiplied by 0.23 ohms. Summing all of these current sources together gives me 57.2 amps, and I multiply that by 0 0.23 ohms, and that works out to 13.15 volts. So my equivalent voltage is 13.15 volts. So I have gone through the process, and I have reduced this circuit with its four parallel voltage sources into an equivalent circuit with one voltage source and its, its corresponding equivalent output resistance. So thank you, Jacob Millman, for that simple circuit reduction, and thanks to you for watching. See you next time. Stop.